guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Diana Romanovska and I am a certified family law specialist practicing family law in San Francisco. Today I would like to talk about what is putative marriage doctrine, what it means, what are the consequences. Let's give an example. A party, both parties got married and accidentally they forgot to file um, a marriage license within 10 days after the marriage certificate. And so they're going along their way and 10 years later they find out, oops, actually, although we had a marriage uh, ceremony, we are actually not married. So what to do if they're starting to go through divorce? So first requirement for a putative marriage is number one, invalid marriage. Obviously it's invalid because they didn't file a marriage license. Second, the innocent party has to have honest and genuine good faith that the marriage was valid. And that good faith is subjective, not based on a reasonable person. However, it has to be truly genuine and honest. In that case, the court and the law considers this marriage as a putative, under putative doctrine, and the judge may grant similar relief as if the marriage was a valid marriage. Um, not the same, so it's treated differently, different code sections will apply, but it is, um, in, it is protected through this doctrine. Anyhow, I hope that was helpful and I will see you soon. Bye!